Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for V and Jenny. Oh yeah, from Black Pink Jenny. Yeah, let's see what their relationship might be like here. Let's just jump right into it. <laughs> Whoa, okay, we have passion, instant, or insane chemistry, like each other equally and having fun. They have a lot of self-love already here, have making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier, and heartbreak, pain, separation, deception. Yeah, something happened between these two at one point. Let's see what's going on now. What? <laughs> Engagement ring. Whoa. Serious? Okay. There is some type of commitment or partnership coming in for these two. I feel like if it's not yet, it will be well, soon. Let's roll the dice and see how many months away this might be. Okay. Six months from now. Looks like so possibly six months from now give or take I don't feel like it's six years I guess it could be six years but could be six weeks so six days I'm feeling more months though I it's not something I'm feeling that's that close yet let's just see what love is about right now so well, yeah, there's that chemistry. There's that passion. There's a strong magnetic attraction. Oh, we got all kinds of flying. Okay, staying optimistic about their love life. So there is a romance here for sure and trying to stay positive about it. Now, uh, what is going on between them right now? Uh -huh, there may be some romantic feelings that are worth exploring and perhaps they're both feeling that. So, and it may just be in a glance, it could be in their demeanor or how they're feeling about one another. Let's have a look at what the emotions they're getting with their Lilith here. Now we've got our Venus here and our palace here with relationships. So let's see what their hidden emotions are with their Lilith. What they may want to confess to one another. One may have felt that um, they weren't they weren't together on this um, one's an adversary type of behavior to it to each other where they're kind of uh, opposing energies and the other one is grieving about this loss so let's see what their combined energy is mm. they may have to trust I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So there needs to be some trust between the two of them. Maybe trust was broken here. So let's look at the luck here with the Jupiter. What's going on? Whoa, patience is coming in here. We have seven, so it could be six to seven months here. Happy families. So just needing to have that patience that this is coming. Um, this will all work out in their favor. And what is this? Oh, sixth chakra. So somebody's seeing with their third eye here, paying attention more to their intuition, that connection to their higher self, psychic abilities, or they're clearly seeing something within each other that is kind of like that knowing they just know that things may be stable in the end with the number four there that stability structure maybe even manifestations coming in wow <laughs> the, all these cards are just dumping on me here <laughs> let's see <clears throat> we have the priestess Embody, I am embodiment of the divine feminine. So it's possible that uh, Jenny is embodying the feminine, uh, divine feminine. Nice. And this is how people see her with the rising sign. This is how people view them. The little star divine, my inner child is whole and complete. 
and the inner temple life lessons i go within my shadow for deep spiritual growth for for him and for v and let's see and i open my senses to feel delicious pleasure and passion wow that's beautiful so i feel like whatever it is has ended with these two that maybe there is some type of conflict here or trust was broken of some sort and i feel like whatever this is they've decided to be their authentic self i feel like they're trying to do these life lessons somebody's learned something here possibly about this grief here of, of losing somebody and breaking that trust in the first place and having this person which is jenny have him have her having this type of energy like i'm not letting you back in you've hurt me you've broken my trust so i don't feel like he really enjoyed those lessons here but he's learned them he's gone through his shadow self here and is starting to bring in some manifestations here what's their combined energy here the huntress the quest the pleiades light they could be both star seeds here my quest to be wild and free so <laughs> within their group too because i this is all about groups uh growth and creativity so this may just be when they're together they have a lot of fun just being wild and free we have six we have ten we have ten and two and three so three six ten ten two so those might be other messages that spirit has for them their angel numbers we have six and seven or sorry four and seven here and four so four seven four may be of significance for another message for these two for jenny and v black pink jenny let's see what the sun is how they feel about themselves let's see whoa okay so somebody here i feel like this may be jenny is feeling like fulfillment transform oh, okay no this is him this is v he's feeling this transformation um feeling some type of security that things are going to work out in his favor he's going to end up getting that fulfillment so let's see about her tell me about her and i want to put him on this side because i feel like that is him right there what about her tell me about her for jenny tell me about jenny ah we have courage and this could be to try to trust him once again what is this one it wanted to come out needing to purify energy here she could be very innocent here or have that innocence naive and having to be flexible so having to adapt to whatever this is having the courage and i feel like staying true to herself with this purity here what's this combined energy oh abundance wow <laughs> wow okay they like this this is very beautiful for v and jenny let's see here just want to have the cards move down a bit okay and let's see about their emotions let's see about their emotions here For him, it's time to take the action. New moon in Aries, that passion in her. A new start is coming, new moon. So she knows it's coming. He's taking action. Surrender to the divine, full moon. So it may be in the next six to seven months on a full moon that these two are going to come together but the surrender has to take place before then so this could be coming up to this new full moon that's coming um let's see here i think that's for next month so that might be when things start to take off they may not announce anything for a few months they might just be friends for a while just to make sure 
that this is what they're wanting to do. Let's see what their their fortune is. Whoa, yeah, somebody's persevering. He's I feel like it's him and he's gonna keep going forward. Yeah, towards balancing this out with each other. Yeah. <laughs> whatever this is wanting to have this um work out in their in his favor where they work out their differences and if you look at the picture there these three people got their arms crossed and they're angry um or upset about something and i feel like there's going to be balance and working out whatever these issues are he's going to keep going forward no matter what with this perseverance here and what else yeah there's a lot of passion here okay so very passionate about jenny when what about jenny's side what is jenny's side here ah uh, she's worried there's a facade here she's worried that this is just another way of breaking her trust she might have to have some type of acceptance here her angels ancestors and spirit guides might be trying to get her to see that this is real yeah there might be some bittersweet feelings here um because of the hurt the broken trust wow they're both gonna have a miracle here and come together spirit is bringing these two together and people would never have thought this may happen again but it's it's gonna happen something's going on here with this spirit is kind of <laughs> bringing in the energy here to get these two to see the light let's see what their north node is what's going on right now for these two what is going on right now for these two for him ah he's thinking about her and for her she may get a gift from him she may be the gift for him for him hmm she may feel like he is a thief in time love or hearts stole her heart and hurt her so yeah this she may have been in kind of bad health or just went really into uh, a grieving type uh, broken heart type of health issues that anxiety why is the thief here mm, community somebody in their community may have been a thief here what is this Somebody in their occupation may have done something here. What is this bad health here in the gift? Mm. She's feeling there's somebody that's a false person here. A message of concern. So let's look at the numbers here that we have for his side. Two, six, and that's 12, that's three and seven. So two, six, three, seven. For his side, for V. And what about her side? What are the numbers here for her? Eight, four, eight, five. Eight, four, eight, five. Okay. So, hmm. What's their combined energy here? Concern. So, Ascendant Masters are concerned about this. I wonder why. Let's find out what Spirit has to say about this first, and then we will see. There may be some things that need to be overcome here before they can come together. Now, this, there may be a thief in their community, in their occupation having to do with the main female now she now on Jenny's side there could be a gift here or she is the gift 
for somebody that is in bad health here. This may be a false person though. And there's a message of concern. Somebody's concerned about something here. Heart chakra. The answer you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. And that is for V. And what about her? What about her? So his chakra, heart chakra is opened. And what about Jenny? Archangel Raphael, the healing angel, is with you supporting your healing work. So she may be trying to heal all this heartbreak. And he may be having his heart chakra opened here. And that's going to be compassion to self and others. Sharing healing energy towards each other. How, trying to help heal this whatever has gone on in their relationship. And they're, they both have the sacral um, chakra, which is all about love coming in. Sensuality, emotions, and creativity. You are highly sensitive to chemicals, additive, processed foods, and energies right now. Respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations, and relationships. So maybe being around stress right now is really affecting their heart or their sacral chakra. So somebody's in bad health. This could be her from this hurt or this could be somebody in her energy. Somebody could have gifted something that caused bad health. Could have been a false person. Wow, this is really throwing me on this. I'm trying to figure out what is going on here. So let's get a tarot card for each of the piles here. So what's the engagement ring? Ah. <laughs> well, just because it's the death card doesn't mean that it's an ending necessarily. This could be a change or a rebirth or a transformation here between these two in order for this engagement to happen. There's passion and healthy choices, self-love here. So this looks like it's a rebirth to me with these romantic feelings and trust here. Yeah, he's going to fight for her, wanting to come in and talk with her and see about fighting for this relationship. What is this trust here? Mm. Yeah, there was some shady ass behavior here with the seven of swords. So something went wrong here. There was maybe some cheating, lying, manipulation, getting away with something. Yeah, she's definitely going to be guarded here. What is the sixth chakra? Metatron. Oh, somebody's going to have that third eye, this seeing, this um, intuition or psychic abilities here. Clear seeing something. And what is this huntress, this quest? What is this that they're meant to be doing here? Maybe working together on something. Hmm. Well, with the world, that doesn't necessarily mean that things have ended. It could be um, a closure of a completion, be getting on the right path. Somebody's very charming here. They're celebrating success. Let's see, what is this abundance? Ah, somebody is bossing up to the emperor. <laughs> so this abundance with the emperor here, this is that fulfillment I was talking about. She's definitely going to have to have the courage, that purity to, maybe this may have to do with the sensitivity to chemicals and stuff, clearing her energy and being flexible to things. What's the surrender to the divine? Oh, wow, the lovers. What? Yeah, there's huh, there's options here. I feel like they're picking a cup here, having the wheel in their favor with the lovers card. Wow, this is Gemini energy. And the wheel, the wheel is um, Jupiter, that luck. Luck is coming in surrender to the divine this is bringing in this miracle <laughs> there's a lot of love here this is a divine union with the lover's card wow this is beautiful this is a lot of attraction and harmony this is about communicating what's this miracle 
Oh, wow. It is a blessing of love. Wow. This is a, a major union going on here. This is spirit coming in and bringing in this beautiful, beautiful blessing for the two of them. Wow. Okay, so let us see what's going on in their life right now. What is this concern from the Ascended Masters? Ah. Four of Pentacles. And I, I can't tell which way that kind of came out. I kind of fumbled it. I don't know if I turned it wrong. I'm putting it back. If it's meant to come back out, it will. What is this concern? Okay, so... This is, okay, so with the Six of Cups, this is somebody in the past that isn't having the strength to come forward or the strength to do something. Having to do with concern. What is this about? This is somebody that's new that doesn't have the strength or the courage. What is this about? Three of Wands. This is troubles ending. Some troubles are ending here for somebody here. One or both of these. Okay, let's look at him. What is this? Um, what does it mean, female? Oh, there might be a competition here. Somebody that wants to take her from him. <laughs> this is making more sense. Maybe somebody else is interested that is in his group or in the community of music may want to take her away from him. Yeah, with an offer. Wow. Okay. So there might be competition for Jenny. Now, what is... There's a false person here. Somebody of bad... Maybe giving her bad health. Let's see. I'll take that that way. Okay. Something is coming to light. And what is this about this? Was it false person? Yeah. What's the false person about? What's coming to light here with this false person? Oh. A false empress. Somebody might be mirroring her energy or trying to... act like her somebody you know what I kind of feel like she is coming out as the empress and that she's just in a good place but there's a false person and this could be this other person coming in they may try to gift her something I want to know what this bad health is what is the bad health here then what's the bad health Oh. Maybe celebrating too much, maybe hangover from a gift. <laughs> there is a false person coming in. Now, the bad health could be how this person might come in for her. Maybe tries to get her tipsy or drunk, drinking, celebrating something to do with a gift. What is the Three of Cups about? Why is that here? The Three of Cups. It's usually a sisterhood or a team, team player. Ah, having to make a decision between the two. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, let's see what his intuition is telling him oh, that he's single right now and that's how he has to come in for her and she has a lot of passion or she feels this is toxic <laughs> I gotta feel like it's more about Capricorn energy could be ambition about getting together knowing they has to be f single in order to do this there's just a lot of passion here desire to be with her. 
let's get one card for each of these piles. What is the death card here? This is a rebirth. I already know this. Yes, and I this my whole deck is upside down, yep, because I only read these in upright. Yes, this is a rebirth. This is a chance for a blessing here, actually, a financial blessing. Maybe the two of them are meant to do a song together or something along those lines. Let's see. What is this romantic feelings with the Knight of Swords coming in to fight for her? Yeah, to heal something here. Done, he's done the work. Whoa, okay. I feel like this is... <laughs> wow, okay. I'm not taking all of these. So I'm just going to take the one here, which is taking responsibility for his own wand and not taking everybody else's stuff on as well there's a lot of desire or capricorn ambitious energy here and wanting to have that equal give and take whoo okay <laughs> just want to make sure i put those in there right okay now let's see what this shady ass behavior is and how she is kind of guarded from v because of what's happened in the past there is some things that have been broken here with trust okay so i am taking this one because i saw it and i am taking this one because i saw it and i'm taking that one because i saw it so yeah she is the uh wounded warrior and he wants to help take down this wall he loves her and there is love here with this two of cups okay wow okay so wanting to heal this with her caesar is very beautiful and with the nine of wands i feel like he's really wanting to heal any wounds that have happened it may be accidental or this is kind of like healing something after a setback here now what is this eight of wands yes being patient of coming forward here being in the flow at peace and in the right state of mind in order for this to come in being very very patient with the patience card and then the temperance angel here this is something that i feel is um that harmony being grounded and peaceful maybe even a life purpose here what is this world card what is this yeah this may have ended um or didn't feel like there was going to be a rebirth here now with the world card that doesn't necessarily mean anything they may just close these issues of what happened in the past put an end to that and wrap that up let's see why is the death card here tell me about that yeah having a different perspective about things about each other and f feeding on one another about this per perception and changing things in this dynamic yeah having the strength and courage to do so what is this emperor here yeah he's very satisfied where he's at right now but he's looking for that 10th cup with her and i feel like he there's a lot of love and with this lover's card and the two of cups showing up here this kind of tells me this is a major divine union and with the miracles and the blessing yeah the end there's there's i feel like they have all of the elements here in their favor Wrapping up loose ties, forming a new path here. What is the lover's card here? The lovers and the wheel of fortune and the seven of cups. <laughs> Marriage card is here. What is this miracle here with this blessing? Whoa, okay. So... <laughs> This is a high priestess. This is intuition. Oh, about now maybe he's just showing up as the king of cups here, as being that emotionally balanced, generous, and compassion and sensitive and understanding towards her. 
having that intuition that she's a blessing or this is a blessing coming in for these two feeling blessed having that passion or this could be this other person coming in this we saw it somewhere here yeah competition so this could be somebody that is competition but I kind of feel like it's more him she's going to use her intuition when it comes to him let's look at this competition with this other offer whoa there is a healing here putting whatever to rest and healed it completely okay we have a king of pentacles and a decision to make so there are two kings here there is a competition when it comes to this and it looks like one is a blessing the other is maybe that false person what is this decision that needs to be made here the two of swords what's the two of swords here ah uh, something coming to light which we saw the sun card or that's very makes her very happy what's the three of wands then tell me about the three of wands here ah making a judgment call here seeing all the <laughs> skeletons in the closet knowing about something here what do they know ah that somebody has a a clear position of advantage here maybe having that free will to choose ah uh, she's gonna choose her emperor and this is uh v he's already showed up as the emperor somewhere here already yeah right here so he is showing up as his self in as the emperor here so let's just look he's showing up as his loving self here and i feel that this king of pentacles is someone else she is choosing her emperor there could be three people that are here she's going to use her intuition though so let's look at what this nine of pentacles is for him yeah he's done this self work here he's done the the healing he's done the um self-worth here by drinking his own cup as well and what about the devil oh wow planning for the future or what so <laughs> a lot of passion and a lot of passion about planning planning this future together there's self-love here they're they're both single or he's single to come in for her wow this is so beautiful <laughs> so this is the reading for v and jenny the love reading i see a lot of great things happening here a lot of blessings and miracles upon miracles and bossing up to the empress and the emperor they're both out here as a divine union uh, both of the uh, love cards are out with the two of cups and the lovers this is wow with self-love this is beautiful there's a lot of healing here healing these issues between the two of them a lot of passion and work that's been done here i love it so please like share and subscribe become part of the divine oracle tribe all right you guys if you want to donate you can do so in the description box below <laughs> and uh, with paypal and we also have the super thanks just watching the videos certainly helps and if you'd like to have a chance at winning a free um personalized video uh reading worth 140 dollars canadian you can go about doing so just by clicking on the community tab and check out the post and it will tell you all about how you can win this free reading and if you want to gift it to someone else there are a couple conditions the person that wants has to want to have the reading that you want to gift it to and whoever you are gifting it to um, has to be okay with you giving their name so i know who to look for because that person you want to gift it to has to contact me via email so i can send them their free 
personalized video reading and it can be this one here the love astrology reading it can be the celtic cross astrology reading i'm going to offer one of those two uh, depending on what they want to know so <laughs> don't forget to like my videos <laughs> yeah it definitely helps I appreciate each and every one of you, all the people that have come in that are new, and of course, all the people that have been throughout the videos that have been clicking on and subscribing. You guys are so awesome. So stay blessed, you guys. Oh, and if you want, you can check out my TikTok um, videos that are different than YouTube's. Um, it's at Chrissy's double d tarot which is divine design <laughs> just saying and uh yeah all right you guys take care stay blessed and we'll see you next time later